and now on McCarthy Industries documentary, we present to you a guide to the pubs of Burgess Hill. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the uh, King's Head, so called named after what we can only believe to be the head of a king. Now, rumour has it that this through pass is what's a main turnpike road linking London to Brighton, hence the term London Road. And on one of his many trips to the seaside, it is rumoured that Oliver Cromwell, the first Prime Minister of England, once stayed in a room above this hotel. So, there's a bit of history, you know, it's a snap out of history. But we're going to go and we're going to review it. Obviously the pictures of King Henry VIII, although we know that he was not decapitated, so it was obviously not his head that the pub is named after. But maybe that's one of the questions we can ask and hopefully get the answer to. Yep, and we're currently inside the King's Head. Wide range of drinks on offer in here. Um, see, touch screen jukebox. Big screen there. Good for your football needs. Billiards table, quite novel, the only pub in town that has that, I believe. Um, two pool tables at the back, nice little games area, pretty impressive. And these lovely cheese flavoured moments, I am now about to eat lots of, so they are lovely. Here we see the pool facilities in the King's Head, second to none. There's Chapman, after having one Coke, he's unable to walk. One table here. And that's the white. Well, we finished in the King's Head, we enjoyed two points and uh, yeah, pretty impressed actually. we a large range of ales on offer, um, starting for your bitter fans, you've got your Courages, always good directors and um, Courage Best, then you've got all those that, you know, just enjoy drinking piss water, Carlsberg, Kyle, and usual types of lager, shit like that. Then you've got the um, Ciders, Magnus and, not Magnus, sorry, Stromberg and Bulmers, no Magnus on offer, which is nice to see that commercialised crap not in there. And uh, yeah, a wide range of alcohol, friendly atmosphere, one, it's like, mine, mine with my penis in many ways, and that it was um, Lon and Finn, the bar. But uh, yeah, quite impressed, I think the King's Head overall will probably get a 7 out of 10. Decent condom facilities, should you pull in there. Uh, decent gaming facilities, not bad overall. And So the bales have been removed. England have won. The oh, hello there. We are now outside the Cricketers pub. I believe it's named after a certain sport, but we can't really work out what sport it is. I think it's rugby, Chapman. It could possibly be rugby. <laughs> Quiz machine, table, fruity, table. Oh. G-Box over there, and as here we see two happy patrons on the dartboard. And I've got a bullseye with my first dart. Just thoroughly enjoyed myself in the cricketers. It features a large games room at the back, as you would have seen already from our footage of these of two of my um, associates playing playing darts. Um, pools on offer, darts is on offer. You you know usual stuff. Electronic dartboard, that's a bonus in there. Um, Beers and offer, it's not as plentiful as the King's Head was, but there's still a few decent ones. You've got your your courage best still on offer there. Um, good to see Harvey's a ooze water or a pint of Sussex is, is an offer in there, and your your basic strongbow. And uh, yeah, it's quite a friendly place. Behind the bar, you've got your uh, your traditional, you know, your knobby's nuts, your your mini cheddars, your your walkers. But added bonus, pepper army. But he's never had a, got got a bit of sausage behind the bar before. Great to nibble on, and uh, yep. Yeah, and also outside is the added bonus of a veranda terrace. I know this from my ground force knowledge. I'm, I'm pretty certain that Tommy and Alan may have built it themselves. But yeah, decent smoking area for all you um, all you lung cancer victims out there.
Hi there. We're now at the Woolpack pub. Uh, we do believe that this pub was built in the 1970s following the success of Emmerdale Farm. The owners of the Woolpack decided to build a replica of the pub seen on, in Emmerdale. But unfortunately, you can see it doesn't quite look like the real Woolpack. Well, we've um, just exited the Woolpack and it's, yep, yeah, not bad, not bad. Um, as I previously mentioned, we thought it was a sort of a more of a restaurant and pub, but it, it, it's turned out that they do not start selling food until six, which is obviously a bit of a problem if you're hungry, or if you're starving, or if you're dead. Um, ales on offer was none of your, you know, for all you, you uh, lager outs, so they're none of your piss poor piss water. Proper ale on offer, there's uh, about six proper ales, including triple um, X. Courages, Harvey's, all, all sorts of offering there. And uh, your mandatory uh, regulation Strombo, regulation Magnus, obviously. But yeah, it's, uh, if you're a real ale connoisseur, you, you will enjoy that pub. because it was built in the wheels between South Downs and North Downs which is ironically where every other pub in Birdshire was built That's just a great uh, Right me. Yeah, because you shouldn't have any more money in there I've got three food in my pocket Yeah, I know, because you won it, because it takes a while Just check the dirty I don't know if you want it Yeah, um just left the world for your final pub guy instalment of today and yeah um, pretty impressed I mean I've got in there I've had my Magnus people have had their Guinness and Blackcurrant people have had their Harvey's decent range of ales you know you've got your Harvey's your, your bog standard um, Carlsberg is now off the menu recently due to the fact that it probably tastes like some sort of monkey's um, urine but it's a pretty decent place I mean Chris 50p you can't go wrong can you these days. Decent pool tables, two widescreen TVs. It's a pretty, pretty and enthralling place. You're I'm afraid that that is it now for the uh, McCarthy Industries TV Pub Guide Part 1 and we'll, I'm sure we'll be back in a few weeks with Part 2 for you so please stay tuned and enjoy yourself, God bless you, God bless Birchis Hill. <laughs>